Hi, my name is Paul Maddox. Uh, I work for Modal Electronics and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about some of the things we've got coming up. Uh, here I have a 002 uh, and I'm sure many of you have one of these. Inside here we've got a digital output board fitted which is our new output board that's coming. This gives you USB audio in and out, MIDI in and out of USB as well, but it also gives you some effects. We've had a few people asking about this. So one of the things I want to show you is some of the new pages that you'll see. So first thing is when you go into the settings page, there's a new one here for the digital output section. And here you can set whether it's bypassed, uh, input levels and the sample rates and what type of output you have, whether you have 12 channels of out or a stereo mix. The other thing that you can now do is use this assign button, which brings up the effects menu. And here we can load up to a thousand parameters. So we've got a, a basic patch here, which is just dry, and I've got a basic, very simple um, patch loaded with a single sawtooth and a filter wide open and nothing particularly fancy going on, so you can hear what the effects are doing. So the first thing I'm going to do is load this crazy chorus sound. This crazy chorus has a very intense and very rapid modulation rate, which you can hear there. I can go and edit the modulation rate quickly just go around to the modulation frequency and I can change it down to 60 instead of 127. And you get the nice pleasing sort of chorus phasery type thing. You can change the modulation depth, the modulation width, the feedback and the initial delay and all the other bits and pieces. So it makes it a very flexible chorus unit. Going back to the patch loading screen, I'll give you some of the other examples. Like here we have a very simple chorus. Quite deep again, gives you a nice rich sound. We've got some slightly outlandish reverbs. You can hear some nice reverb sounds there. We've got a ringing space. This has got a bit of chorus with feedback and some reverb on it. So you can do some fairly mad things as well. We've got stereo echo. So you've got two delay lines in here. If I go in here, you've got separate delay time for left, a separate delay time for right, and you've got feedback and cross modulation. So you can hear all those kind of crazy good things like that. We can go on to uh, over the topic space. A basic long delay gives you an idea of the sort of delayed length time you can have. So there's lots of good things you can do with these short delays. There's drone effects. There's a phaser with a bit of reverb. Again, the phaser is based on the chorus, but we change the delay time. Uh, underwater drones. So these, these are all various mixes of echo, chorus, and reverb. Uh, ringing drone. Stereo bounce. Uh, and a very simple phaser. So these are some of the, just a small sample of the things you can do with a digital output board. So now what I'll do is I'll give you some of the examples of our um, existing presets that you may have played with, and I'll load some various different effects so you can have a play with them, see what they sound like. So this is Big Fizz, which is one of the more better well-known sounds we have. And what I'll do for this one, I will pick, oh, what shall we have? Let's go with a phaser. Where's the phaser on? There we go, a simple phaser. So you can hear the kind of things you can do with it. Let's load um, kid gloves. Lovely sound. That many of you know. Again, what I'll do is go to the effects section. This time we'll try. What should we go for? Let's go for a bit of reverb. So we can do that. We can go for a stereo echo or over the top, over the top space. There we go. So we can do all sorts of crazy things with it. Uh, PWM burst is another one that's probably screaming out for some chorus. Again, simple sound. Let's put on a bit of the chorus. Uh, let's go for the crazy chorus. What I'll do is I'll turn the modulation rate down a little bit. So maybe 100. Maybe slower. Maybe turn some of the feedback down. There we go. 
So you can hear the sort of things you can do with the existing sounds, but with the power of the digital effects that we've now got in. So one of the other final things I wanted to mention is this has all been recorded via USB. This is 24-bit 192 kHz. Again, we've got the option of having the output as a stereo pair, or if you want and you're in multi timbre mode, you can run all 12 separate voices out on 12 separate channels over USB as well. It's important to point out that um, the effects are not presets. You can edit them, and as you've seen from my editing of various bits and pieces there, there are a large number of parameters for effects. It's not a straight chorus, it's not a straight delay, and it's not a straight reverb. So you can do a number of things. The parameters will be modulatable from the animator as well. So this takes the whole effects thing into a whole new level that you can't achieve with other synthesizers. Mm -hmm.